Hi, my name is Mukul Gupta and today I'm going to talk about road traffic monitoring system. Um, so we have certain capabilities um, um, which we can use to uh, uh, create um, uh, video surveillance uh, with um, intelligent analytics and then apply that onto the traffic signals. So, so what we are, we are cloud experts with experience of building large scale systems using machine learning and artificial intelligence. Our solutions consist uh, cloud scale, state of art, and remote monitoring, video surveillance as a service solution for fleet surveillance. Um, our solutions is really cost savvy um, and it provide a great level of control, safety, and it's, it's fairly simple to use kind of solution. Uh, uh, and it allow user to remotely store, manage, record, play, and monitor surveillance footage along with the other real time IoT sensory data. Um, all of which um, resides entirely in the cloud. Uh, so how the solution really works, so you can have like buildings, homes, vehicles, um, and then we have this hosted solution on the cloud and it offers uh, greater security, uh, better images, and then analytics on top of that. Um, so the capabilities which we're gonna show today, uh, they're like, uh, we wanna show you um, the, the vehicle types, um, what kind of events they have, like they're stationed, they're moving, crossing a line, uh, they're tailgating each other, um, and then, so th th this is all what we can do. And then you can go find the colors of the vehicle, and then you can uh, find the type, whether it's a motorcycle, or it's a car, or it's a bus, or it's a truck or something. Um, and then um, you, can, um, you can take the time frames, and then figure out the ratios, I mean, all those things, you can do it. And then apart from that, it can recognize the number plate, uh, of the vehicle as well so uh, it's a tentative architecture of the solution how it really looks uh, so you have a camera we have aggregated device which is put in between and then the, the aggregated device sends the data to um, a web api on the cloud and that's where it is stored and then uh, we can use any bi system we are using power bi right now that can show you the rich dashboards um, for uh, the specific uh, POC, what we have used, we are using Python, OpenCV, um, and then deep learning um, networks. Um, and then um, uh, we are using this specific model from CAFE uh, for machine learning. Um, and then um, we have like APIs, who, which is having asynchronously data stored on the cloud. Uh, we have SQL Server and Power BI um, for reporting. So let's, uh, let me directly jump to the demo and show you how it really works. Uh, so uh, for that, um, I want to show you a video, uh, which uh, can um, I mean you can look at the video and then figure out um, uh, the vehicles are moving, and then we'll go to the capturing um, for the traffic for that. So, so here's the video. Um, you can see uh, the video the vehicles are moving in uh, both the directions. Um, so there are a few forward going vehicles, and then moving on the other side. So let me apply the algorithm on that and then you can see how it really works. It takes some time because um, first time, um, um, because the machine learning, machine learning works on certain models and those models take some time to get loaded. Um, and once it does the loading, it works uh, seamlessly after that. So um, give us a couple of uh, more seconds and then you will see the output coming up. Um, in the output, how it will do, uh, so it will go read uh, frame by frame um, the vehicles moving and then keep a track. So you see the lines coming up and that's how what it is doing, it is keeping a track of a vehicle, whether uh, the same vehicle moving in which direction and what color of the vehicle. So you can see all those information um, popping up in the background, um, which can tell you what vehicle it is, uh, it's a car or a truck, or what is the color. Um, and it is tracking the count of the vehicles as well like on left side how many vehicles has gone on the right side how many vehicles have gone and it tells you the, sp the, the speed of the vehicle as well on what speed the vehicle is moving so um, you can see this is happening um, at the real time um, it is um, processing the video and giving you the output at the same time apart from capturing the results locally which you're seeing in the background we are pushing that data to web service as well. So this data is going to the cloud. 
so let me show you uh, how it really looks on the cloud till it is uh, moving um, so let me go to the um, cloud uh, give me a second let me just switch to the video okay here you see um, so you can see um, these are the reports which we have generated by using those web services so um, I mean you can see the number of vehicles um, or or you can see the speed for the vehicles for the specific date um, how many vehicles going to the right how many going to the left for the for the whole period and then it's like if you want to know tailgating if some vehicle is trying to tailgate the other one um, the colors what what kind of colors the vehicles are having and then um, it tells you the count of the vehicle based upon the vehicle type um, and then here you can see um, what color they are they're moving in uh, I mean you can generate uh, rich reports uh, by uh, I mean filtering the data so so you can look at the camera these are the camera you can select the camera and then um, the data changes uh, dynamically so so here are the filters which you can put and then you can see the data coming up another thing what you can do um, um, we can now use the maps to show your data let me show you I mean I'm picking a specific location in Delhi um, the central um, Delhi uh, we have a place called Connaught place um, there you can see um, the, you're seeing the dots there so these dots are nothing but um, the data uh, let me just move okay range and let me increase the range so you see these bubbles they, these are the bubbles for the vehicles uh, moved in that specific location um, so how we are capturing it we capture the long light of the camera and by using that we can tell you uh, the number of vehicles uh, and what color it is and then um, all I mean all sort of details which we're getting um, let me move to the PPT back uh, so it's more or less the same thing which I just show you um, and I mean you can use the other videos as well to show the data coming up um, and uh, I mean this is another feature which we have you can use uh, the number plate recognition uh, so so whatever number we can go capture and then we can perform certain um, operations on that and this is the same dashboard which I just show you um, that's all what I have for today uh, thank you very much